major obstacle many goat owners who want to dam raise face is milking while dam raising. How do you go about it and can you even do it? The answer is yes, you can definitely do it and there are several ways to go about it. One fairly common thing people do is just wait until the kids are weaned at around three months or so and then pick up milking. The big problem with this though is that oftentimes the doe will have already started to wean the kids and her milk production will have dropped, so you won't be getting that much milk. Another thing you can do if your does are very good milkers is you can just milk at the same time the kids are nursing. But as the kids grow, their appetites grow as well and you will be getting less and less milk that way. So I have the perfect solution. Starting at two weeks old, you can start separating the kids from the dams at night for 12 hours, then you can milk in the morning. And then you can let the kids drink the milk during the day. This is great for you as the breeder because you don't have to go through the hassle of bottle feeding, but you still get plenty of milk. Another great thing about this schedule is that you only have to milk once a day, which is a serious plus for a lot of breeders. I also like this method because it gets kids alone, away from the herd, in a smaller enclosed space. It gives you time to bond with them, and you can start them on hay and grain easily without any other goats to take away their feed. One more great thing about this is for the first two weeks after kidding, you don't have to milk at all because then the kids really need milk throughout the night. So you can focus more on bonding with the kids, disbudding, and anything else you need to do with the doe or kids without having to worry about the hassle of milking. This is also great for the dams because they get a break from the kids and it's a much easier transition between nursing and milking. It's great for the kids because they can have a free feed type set up at night and the weaning process is often easier. I also really love this schedule for when I have a litter with a runt because a lot of times during the day the bigger kids will push the runt away from the udder so I just put the runt in with the doe while the rest of the kids get separated and then it'll drink all the milk it wants. One other thing to note with this schedule is there is absolutely no need to bottle feed milk back to the kids in the morning. The doe will produce more milk for them throughout the day and they can get more milk out of an udder than you can so they'll probably still get a feeding right after you let them out early in the morning even though you just milked the dough out.